Okay, class. I'm going to do a quick little run through on how to set up your loudness radar for your projects. Here is my current session. So you have the meter on your master fader and you have your master meter right here also. All these channels feed into the master fader. So what you got to make sure is you are putting the loudness radar not on any of the individual tracks, not your voice, not your instruments, not your music, not your sound effects, but on the master output, the one right here, master. You're going to go to the second slot from top to bottom. Signal flows from top to bottom, first, then second, then third. You're going to go to the second slot. You're going to go to special. You're going to go to loudness radar meter. You're going to change the settings to target loudness negative 14 LUFS. You're going to make sure that your settings are on loudness unit LUFS. You want your peak indicator to be negative 1. Now when you run your loudness meter, you hit play, you're going to allow your commercial to play from beginning to end. Then you stop it. This will give you an accurate measurement of what your current perceived loudness is, which is right here under LUFS, it's currently a negative 17.6. Once you start making adjustments to this project and you're wanting to verify if your new levels on your voice and your music made a change, you hit the reset button right up here and you move your cursor all the way to the beginning and play the video from beginning to end one more time. Every time you make an adjustment to your mix and you want to verify your new levels, make sure you hit the reset button. Once you've, you think you have some good levels and you're ready to print, run it one more time after you hit reset and please do a screen print of the loudness radar with those last set of measurements. Go ahead and upload that screenshot along with the rest of your assignment uh, material for your rough mix and for your final mix. That's all. Thank you.